and welcome to Greg's Channel 1. I am Greg, and this is Channel 1. Now, I've just finished watching Episode 7 of Zoo, Season 1, Sleuths. Now, what I must say about this episode is it was very interesting in the way that it developed a couple of characters in almost every single way. Now, obviously, if you're watching this review, you've obviously seen Episode 6, where Ben Schaefer was killed by Jamie. Now, Jamie is now under a new, per, a new name, Nancy Armstrong, which you find out uh, through Abraham talking to her that that was her mother's name and her mother's maiden name. So she was Nancy Armstrong before becoming Nancy Campbell. Ooh, awesome. Um, Abraham, you find out about his past. Now, he also had another name, which I can't remember how to pronounce and I can't remember how to say. I think it was something like Abdullah, something, something, something. Um, where he got into the army after his parents were both killed. And he had two younger brothers. And he was given the choice of killing one or the other. But if he didn't kill either, they both died. To which he decided to let them both die. Because he felt that if he killed one of them, he one of them would get, get turned into a monster like him. And would have to kill someone or another person. And you kind of understand his logic for that. Because it makes sense. Um, so those have all automatically been developed. Chloe, you meet Chloe's ex fiance, who's an absolute douchebag. No wonder why she left him. Um, he, he comes across as very, very. Mm, I'm French, mwahaha, chip, 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 kind of thing. And it was just like. I hope Chloe smacks him in the face. Or Jackson, or somebody. Because he's got such a painful ego. And Mitch gets developed so much in this episode. It's brilliant. Um, he's given the mother cell and you know he's got a bear that he is doing tests on. And it is brilliant because because he's got the mother cell, he contacts Raiden Global's big boss. And the end of the episode is what makes his development so beautiful. Because it's someone who claims, because he claims to the guy, I've got the mother cell. You may want to hear this. But you're going to do what I tell you. And then at the end of the episode, um, Raiden Glo Oval Bloke is like, I'm Raiden Global Man. Does his little talk to Mitch, you know, introduce him, himself. And Mitch tells about how his daughter dying and how Raiden have the thing, have the medicine to save his daughter. And the Raiden guy goes, That's not going to be easy for me. To which Mitch seems to be going slightly darker. It's kind of cool. He even gets punched by in the face by a bear, and he takes it like a champ. Considering he's, he looks like he hasn't eaten in years. Um, that 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 was a pretty pretty nice little development. You get to see that the bears are changing because the mother cell is causing them to get better at hunting and survival. Hence why the bats are flying higher than they should and in daylight. Um, why the lions can contact each other over long distances. And why it takes three trank darts to bring down a bear. Because they have like a, they, they end up getting like an endoskeleton. So it's like a hard shell. It's like, what the hell? And you kind of have 
have the um, FBI bloke talking to Chloe saying, you must hand in the person that killed Ben Schiffer. And she's like, uh, no. <laughs> and then at the end, she serves him nicely because he doesn't ask the question. And she goes, just to answer the question that you want to ask, but you're not going to ask. No, I'm not handing him over. I know what's happening to the bears. I know what's happening with the animals. I'm going to stop it. If you want to replace me, go ahead. But I'm not handing in Jamie. Well, she doesn't obviously say, I'm not going to hand in Jamie. It's, I'm not handing them over to you. And he just smiles and goes, fair enough, and walks off. And that's like, oh, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the basics of what happens. I really like the way that uh, Billy Burke is giving his character a bit more depth. And you're kind of watching it going, Mitch is, is Mitch going to go down a dark path where he kind of, becomes where he kind of comes becomes detrimental to the team because he's so focused on saving his daughter's life maybe anyway I'm going to rate the episode because you know obviously I'm I've done my basic review of what the ha what's happened it, it a lot kind of happened and a lot didn't if that makes sense you got a lot of character development, but it didn't really progress anywhere. As a whole. But it was a very good episode. Um, I do think, though, the last episode, that's what it sounds like, was a lot better. So I'm rating this 3.8 out of 5. It was good. Not quite sh great. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. Click subscribe, whichever side it's on. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. It's always nice to hear what you guys think. Whenever you guys do decide to say stuff. Other than that, I've got nothing else to say, but cheers.